So today we will have an introduction on Facebook and Instagram. Basically, this is actually a Facebook class, but we can integrate Instagram also along with Facebook and we can study that. How is it? Why is it like that? First of all, Instagram is a mobile platform. We don't have anything to do with it on the desktop. And if at all you're working for a business profile, posting and all needs to be done from your system. And you should have more options for that. And hence we use the Facebook platform called Meta Business Suit. We're using the same Meta to design the post for both Facebook as well as for Instagram. That is why we say that Facebook and Instagram are together in the concept. So as we get inside, every one of you has Facebook account, am I right? Yes, Facebook profile, nowadays kids are also having it. So I assume every one of you will also have it, yes. right? So how often you use Facebook? Not so regular now. What about you, Padmini? More on Instagram, but not that regular. What about you, Teja? All right. What about online people? Very less. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm not able to follow you guys. But anyways, why should you not promote your business also on your personal page? If that comes up as a question. We have a limitation for Facebook usage on personal. Like you can have maximum of 5,000 friends. You cannot go beyond that. So the number of connections you can maintain is up to 5,000 only. But when it comes to business, you should have unlimited opportunity. You should be able to connect with as much customers as possible. And that is the purpose of business page creation on Facebook, first of all. You, de you need not have any limitation. If at all it is business page, audience can be huge. Now, of course, the audience can be huge, but remember that it is always random audience. You cannot choose whom to follow. I mean, who should follow your page? Let us say I'm creating a page. Can I decide that only female customers should follow me? Only people from Hyderabad should follow me? We can't decide who will like your page or who will follow your page. You can have huge audience, but that can be random audience. So whatever you are posting on your business page will definitely reach to the larger set of audience than compared to your personal profile. If you are posting on your personal profile, maximum you can have 5,000 friends, but how many will you have on a regular basis usually? Maybe 1,000 is the greatest number I have heard, like 1,000 or 1,200, 1,500 friends is a huge number in personal section. And for those people also, if they are continuously in touch with you, like they are liking your post or they are commenting on your post or they are uh, sharing your post, if there is an engagement with you on a regular basis, then your post will be coming up on their wall. So the probability of making sure your post reaches to your audience is very less in the personal space. But when it comes to business page, it is not like that. You can have n number of followers. You can have n number of people who like your page. Liking a page is different from following a page. Just because you like a page, it doesn't mean that you're following it. If someone likes your page and also follows it, whatever you are posting on your page will be visible for them on their wall. They can see what you're posting on regular basis and that will be like you are reaching to larger section of audience. Now, let us say I want to minimize this also. I don't want to target only random audience. If there is something important in my business, which I want to communicate to a set of target audience, then go for sponsored ads. So in sponsored ads, you can choose to whom you want to show the ad. Like detailed targeting, just as we do in Google Ads. I want to show my ad to so-and-so location. I want to show my ad to so-and-so age group. I want to show my ad to people with this interest. Like that here also we have all set of targeting options which are available and that can be through the sponsored ads. So these are various sections. Now we are going to learn about business page creation, optimization, posting rules, how to use Meta Business Suit and then we will learn about sponsored ads. In sponsored ads we have six type of campaigns. So what are all those six type of campaigns? What are the minor differences in that? So once we read about all this stuff, how to take reports from Facebook. So with that, we come to the end of Facebook. Probably it will take four classes. Usually it will take four to five. 
most probably four classes. So going ahead, first thing, page creation. Who needs a Facebook page? Any organization, any firm, any company, any business which has an online presence and which is expecting audience or its customers on the Facebook platform. Let us say I have my customers on Facebook. I need my profile on Facebook as well to show them. So businesses, brands, organizations, and nowadays public figures also, public personalities, celebrities. Like for example, if you take even a serial actor, they have a Facebook profile nowadays. They have a Facebook profile, they have an Instagram page, They'll be so active in this social media platforms because they want to have connectivity with the audience to make themselves popular. So public personalities, what do they do? Whether it is a business page, whether it is a page for promoting any brand or service or any product of an organization or if it is of any celebrity, the purpose here is they want to connect with the people and they need to share their story. Share their story in the sense not putting up a story on your Facebook sharing their experiences that are happening on a day-to-day -day basis. That is the purpose of having a business page. Like profiles, just as you are using your personal profiles, you can make posts, you can create events, you can create stories or reels, and all the people who are liking or following your page can get those updates in their feeds. Now, to create a page, get into Facebook, go to page creation option, Choose a category and click on accept terms and conditions. Let me take you to the Facebook page first. Of all. So I am here on Facebook. This is my profile. Whatever pages I have, which I have already created, will be present under this pages. These are all the pages that I have created in the past. Now, let us say I want to create a new page now. Nine dot button or you call it a menu button. Click on that and here you will have create a page option. So if you select this create a page, it will ask you to give a name to the page. Usually if you are doing it for business, you will give the business name. So you will give a name for the page and category is required. You can't type whatever you feel like. You need to select from the available options. I want a digital marketing company which is not available. See here. Social media agency. That's it. Not much. Let us say I'll make it advertising. Right. I have advertising agency or advertising and marketing. So that's de that depends on which is the best suitable thing for your business. Choose that. Give a name which is required. Let us say there are already existing pages with that particular name. You need to make it unique by adding numbers or by adding symbols, etc. And then go for a category. After selecting category, bio is there, which is optional. But I ask you to fill it up. Because wherever you have a scope of writing a content, don't leave it. Utilize it by writing your target keywords. Let us see if this is my digital marketing page, digital marketing training page. Name of my business will be digital marketing faculty. Then category will be education or online education, etc. And then my bio will be best digital marketing, online training, or best e-learning for digital marketing, etc. As I start writing about it, it will get loaded up here. That is bio. It is nothing but description. Once you add this three information and click on create page, then only space opens up for adding your profile picture and background image. So unless you create a page, the other options will not open up. That's what I have given you in the screenshots here. Go to your profile. Click on create new page. Where do you find it? On the nine dot button, the menu button. Under create section, you'll have something called page. Create a page. It will ask you to give a name of your page. Select some categories. One is required now. One is required. You can add up to three. So I have added two here. A description which is of 255 characters. It has been changed to bio now if you see. Earlier we used to call it description. So whatever it is means the same. Write something about your company. So we have a 255 character limit. And once you are done with adding the three information, 
click on create page and then the next part opens up add a profile picture add a cover photo what is profile picture something you see here this is profile picture and this is the banner image or cover image or background image whatever you call it we have certain specifications for the images i have given you somewhere we'll go there slowly so once you give your profile picture and profile picture and category uh, cover picture you will get inside the page i'm leaving it i did not create it let me go to a normal page and i'll show you this is the digital marketing news page which i already created so this is the page here you will have the profile picture at any point of time if you want to change the profile picture click on this camera button view photo and edit it you can change it or here you can edit this you can either choose from the existing photos you can add multiple photos to create a slide show or you can upload a single photo from your system so whichever is your option you can choose it so profile picture usually if it is a company page we will put our logo here we will add our logo here and a proper background image that's about it and then what do we have for the first time when you are creating a business page facebook will ask you to connect your whatsapp also in the first instance it will ask either you can connect it right away or you can do that later also you can skip this part you can skip this part and you can do it later where to do it later i'll show you and after that once you enter inside the page you have optimization points which you need to follow there is something called add a button on your page if you select that you can add multiple options see here add a button you can keep a follow button what do you mean by follow button people who are coming to your page can follow your page you can create gift cards you can give an option of giving an order for people book now you can give a calendar call now you can connect your phone number contact us you can give your website url send message you can connect your messenger facebook has a separate messenger so you can connect that if you need see here send whatsapp message here also you can connect your whatsapp as i told you while creating the page if you did not connect whatsapp also later on you can do that inside the page if you select this it will ask you to connect your number you'll get an otp to your number and that code has to be entered here and the whatsapp gets verified similarly you can give your email id people can reach you on the email you can give a learn more button sign up button use app what not you can keep a video also accessible you'll give your video link here and people can watch the video so these are all the buttons available which you can add it on your page level that's about it these are all the buttons and then you have this username if you see here my page username is not yet created it is like digital marketing news at the rate username now i want it something this is the username given the url given by the facebook let us say i want to edit it and i want to make it as my customized username if i want to create a customized username for that you need to have certain rules you need to uh, fall into certain category let me tell you what is that first of all you can search for the name availability if it is available it will be allotted to you and for this these are the rules like your page must not be something which is recently created it must not be a new page and on your profile there must not be multiple pages which are recently created let us say i have my personal profile with my personal profile i have created three or four business pages in the recent past so it is like multiple pages created from a single profile in the recent past in the quick gaps so that is not going to give you a benefit it is not going to allow you to create your personalized username so you your username can be created if your profile is an old one if your page is also an old one and you have certain limit of followers who are present for your page if you have these criteria accepted then you can create your own username so how to do that click on this create a username you will get this window search for the username if it is available if it is within the eligibility limitations it will be allotted to you 
and these are the rules you need to follow you may not uh, may not be able to create username immediately if the page is new and the profile also must not be an old one and you should not have created multiple pages in the recent past these are the guidelines to have a page username you must have at least 25 likes for your page your personal profile must not be newly created and you should not have created more than one fb page lately now after this optimization what do you mean by optimization adding keywords wherever there is a possibility after learning the entire seo you should understand this basic concept optimization is nothing but adding our target keyword wherever there is a possibility so where to add the keyword in facebook on your facebook page you'll have something called more let me go to the page home services reviews shop more so under more you'll have something called about this is where you have the optimization points edit page info you'll get inside here you have general information while creating the page what you have given that comes up here like the name of the page if at all at any point of time you want to change it you can change it here the username which you need to create first description how much is the character limit 255 characters so this is all under your basic information categories which you have selected by default so all this comes under your general information then you have contact your phone number again whatsapp number if at any point of time you want to connect your whatsapp later on this is one path there are multiple paths to do it i'll tell you others also so here you can add your whatsapp number email id your website i suggest you to add your company website here because whether you are going to post on facebook regularly or not you have your website on facebook what happens because of that facebook becomes your backlink am i right your website link is present on facebook that means facebook is your backlink whenever crawler comes to facebook it will crawl through all the information which is present in facebook and hence it will crawl through your website also so that is going to pass the link juice to your website which is very very essential for us facebook has got 100 domain authority because of the high popularity obviously so if you have your website url here it is going to be an advantage for you so add all the required information whichever is possible don't put your personal information here this is not a personal profile this is a business information so it will be your business phone number it will be your business whatsapp number it will be your business email id it will be your business website and once you add that your contact information is done let us say you want to mark your address you can mark your address you can type your address and you can mark it on the map and save it and once you are done with this we have something called additional location details like service area what are the areas that you are providing services at let us say i am working exclusively for telangana i can mention it here we provide services only in telangana we provide only in metropolitan cities so depending on your client's requirement you will add the service location here additional details are there like do you have a physical address can people come in person to your office do you your page travel to its customers so are you going to send any online deliveries can your customers buy goods or services online all these information regular information about your location you are going to put up here and your business hours if you keep it no hours timing will not be mentioned if you have specific hours you can open on selected hours monday tuesday to saturday sunday let us say we are working only monday to friday opening at so and so time closing at so and so time let us say i want to put up two timings like before lunch and after lunch i can add one slot here add one more slot and add the rest of the information here so like that i can keep my business hours available for the people to see you can make this permanently closed or always open and no information available whichever is your convenience let us say there are any temporary changes like you are closing for a certain period of time there is a little vacation going on in the office this kind of things can be mentioned here temporary changes that's about your working hours more options this is where you will have your privacy policy 
Didn't I tell you when we were discussing Google Ads that whenever you are creating any platform where you will collect the data from public, having a privacy policy is mandatory for a company. Now here we are taking the data of the public who are coming to our place. So we need to have a privacy policy. Where will we have it? We'll have it in our website. And that URL we'll copy and paste it here. So the privacy policy URL has to be added here. There is something called Impressum here, which is not for us actually. Impressum is something which is used in countries like Austria, Germany, etc. Wherein there is a rule that if you are creating a Facebook business page, you should mention for which type of businesses you are doing this, what type of content you will be posting here, whether it is legalized or not. So these kind of information must be stated here as per law. But in our country, we don't have any such rule. So what are we going to do with this space? Because we don't need anything like legal documentation here. What we'll do here is we'll add description because we don't want to leave 2000 characters. Impressum is of 2000 characters. So write a nice write up about your company here. You have a good space. We have some more space, which is called additional information, which will be, how much do you think? How many character limits will be there? Any assumptions? 5,000 people said. See how much you have. 50,000 characters. I can copy my entire website content and put it on here. <laughs> so, additional information is something where you have a huge space of writing your content. So, put it up as much as you can if you can't fill up the entire data also. But try to utilize it to use maximum number of keywords. Maintain 2 to 3% of keyword density. Follow all content optimization rules and put up a nice write-up here under additional information. So you have 255 characters of bio, which is description. You have 2,000 characters of impressum. And you have 50,000 characters of additional information. All this can be used for optimization effectively. And then you have product information. Let us say you have any particular product to offer. You can write about the product or about your services. And you can mention you have a character limit of 2000 here separately. And let us say you want to mention the prices also on the page itself. You can mention the range, whether they are expensive products or whether they are moderate products or you don't want to specify or not applicable. Let us say you don't have any price to mention, you can keep it not applicable. And then currency, what is the currency that you follow? You can mention that and you can add your further accounts. Like you can connect your, see what are all the options available. So you can connect your Skype or your WeChat or your Twitter or your Instagram. So whichever account you want to add. For example, I have added Instagram here. Add one more as many accounts as possible. What happens, people who are coming to your business page, they can also see your other social media buttons available and they can click on them and they can reach there also. It is like mutual development of the social platforms. So you can connect your other accounts there. So what are all the things that we have seen under more, under about, here also we'll find the same. General information, want to edit anything separately, you can get here. Hours, price range, website information, phone number, email ID, messenger connection, about additional information, how many characters, 50,000 characters you can write here, impress them, 2,000 characters, privacy policy URL, and any other accounts that you have to connect. So all this is present under the more button on your home page. So that's what I have given you here. Get into the more button. And you have all these options to fill up. Now, after you create your page and after you optimize your page, let us say you are not posting on a regular basis. You have an employee to do that for you or you have a team member to do that for you. How do you give a page role? Access for others. So how to give that? On your page, you will have something called settings. Get into the settings option. And here you'll have something called page roles. So get into page roles. And here you will see 
existing people of the page and if you want to give a new role type the name of the person the facebook username of the person or the email id of the person and give them the access as you want admin editor moderator advertiser analyst and custom options what happens if you give them an admin they'll be equivalent to you yeah they'll be equivalent to you if you want only editor access they will not have the user management page access rest of things will be normal and a moderator will have only observing option they can't edit anything and advertiser will only have the sponsored ad section they will not have the organic promotion section permissions and analyst can just view the reports so these are all the options available whatever permission you want to give you can give that and for that you need to log into your facebook again for example let us say i'm typing here a name and i click on add immediately it will log out of my facebook and it will ask me to log in first it has to verify me first so i need to log in with my username and password then only it will take the new admin role so how to do that get into page settings on page settings page roles click on page roles and give the name of the person or the email id of the person select the role that you want to give and click on add immediately it will come out of your dashboard and it will ask you to enter your password you need to re enter the password to continue the option and then the person will be notified and these are all the options they'll have if at all they are an admin all the access is available if you see everything is permitted if it is editor everything is permitted except for managing page roles as i told you managing page roles editing pages creating or deleting post sending messages responding to any comment deleting any comment removing people from the followers banning people from the pages creating ads any promotional activities or uh, looking at the earning reports looking at the insights looking at the page and publishing any jobs everything right from a to z all the options will be available for an admin an editor also will have everything except page management if it is an a moderator they will not have edit option see here they will only observe if it is advertiser they will only have the sponsored section ads earnings reports etc only sponsored section if it is finally an analyst in the reports also only insights that's about it and if at any point of time you want to connect your whatsapp account or your instagram account to your existing page where do you find it on the same settings if you scroll down you will have whatsapp and instagram you can click on whatsapp it will ask you to connect your whatsapp number you can give your phone number it will ask for a code confirm the number and get the code add the uh, code here and confirm it if you want to connect your instagram same option click on instagram here it will get this option connect account you click on that it will ask you to permit continue log in to your instagram your instagram user id and password for that first of all you should have an instagram account so use your username and password and log in now while doing that there itself on the same window itself it will ask you do you want to convert your instagram account also to a business account if you are wishing to convert it you can convert it there itself just click on yes it will show the next steps there won't be anything additional if you change it to business page you will just have insights option you will have this insights option to see what is how is the page performance all this stuff will be available on a business account on a normal page you will not have that insights option and now but as something new has come up you can put a status on your uh, instagram right note yeah sorry note so you might have observed it that note will not be available for business accounts that note is available only for personal accounts so if at all you are using instagram for only business purpose this is the place where you will convert it while connecting it to the facebook it will ask you do you want to change it into business account and connect if you select yes automatically you will be guided step by step next 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 if you keep on clicking the options your instagram account also converts to your business page and once it is done here you will have it switch 
at any point of time you want to switch from personal account to professional or professional to personal you can do it here or on your mobile also you can get into your instagram and in the bottom of your page you will see switch to personal or switch to professional whichever is your option you can switch and once you are done you will you will get the insights like this you will know more about the followers you will know more about the customers you will see the insights if you want you can add your business phone number to the instagram account and save it and once it is done your instagram business account is also ready and you will get a confirmation so we have connected both facebook and instagram at any point of time you want to delete that the facebook and uh, disconnecting the instagram from facebook account on the same page where you have connected if you scroll down till the last you will have disconnect option i don't know if i have connected let me see so i have already connected it so if i want i can switch it to the personal account now and at any point of time if i want to disconnect i can come here and click on disconnect option that profile instagram profile and your facebook business page get separated so that's how you can connect your whatsapp or your instagram to your facebook business page and once we are done with that what are the next options page management history let us say there are three or four people who are managing your facebook page you need to know who is making what changes someone has posted something someone has changed something someone has added a credit card removed some access so this kind of activities which are going on in your page if you want to know about them where do you know that just like in our google ads we have change history similarly you can see here in the page management history where do you have it on the same page settings in the last you'll have something called page management history if you can click on that you can see what are all the actions who has done that which day and which time so this is an old page so only i mean a new page so only one activity is there if it is any old page where lot of activities have been done you can see all the list here so person has been added who added that that person's name what was the date and time so all that information you can see under page management history where do you find it on your page settings page management history and you can see all the options and whenever you want to remove the page under the same page settings go to the general option and you will have removing a page option page settings general remove page so this is the place where you can delete any existing page and if you want to see how many people are following your page and who are they how many people are liking your page who are they if anyone is particularly creating trouble for your page by you know following you by liking your page but still making negative comments and all the stuff you want to ban someone from your page how to ban them all these options are present here let me show you here on the same page settings we'll have something called people and other pages if you click this people who like this page so here you'll have list of people who like your page right now for this page there are no likes so no data people who follow this page pages that like this page business pages which are liking your page and then people whom you have already banned or people whom you have already blocked on the messenger all these details you can see let me go to any other page and show some data for you Very nice. Meta business suit is something which I wanted to discuss tomorrow, not today. What happened, guys?
because of this meta coming into picture lot of changes keep on happening don't get surprised if you see something new Hmm? Hmm. Once one of my employees created long, long back. We don't have much about it now. Hmm. He used to create a lot of content in this. I'll look into it because the view has changed. If I switch it, it will go to a profile actually. Okay, so this is a new option coming up. You can add someone to the blocked list from this screen. So I'll give you that path also tomorrow. In tomorrow's class, we'll discuss about it, how to ban people. This is the option if you have the regular pay settings. The problem here is some people will have older version some people will have the latest version depending on which version you are using on your system. So let us say you go into a company which has this old settings. You need to know where to get in to see who are liking your page and all the stuff. It is here. Under the general settings, people and other pages, you can select any one particular person and just click on remove the person from the page likes. That option has been changed here in the new page. I'll check it today and I'll let you know in the tomorrow's class how to ban a person from the liked pages. And then comes post guidelines. Very, very important part of Facebook. Not only Facebook, this applies for every social media platform. How should you design a post? What should you keep in your mind? First and foremost thing, don't post only content or don't post only media. It should be a combination. There must be text. There must also be an image or a video because having an image and video image or video increases the probability of engagement of your post what do you mean by engagement what engagement is possible on facebook like share and comment the possible engagement that can happen on a post is either people can like your post they can share your post or they can comment it it stands good for every social media platform, but the names might change. For example, if you get, we we're talking about Twitter. If you get into Twitter, you call it tweet, retweet, and like. So all those options are different here. Like, share, and comment, we call it here. So whatever it is, whether it is like, or whether it is share, or whether it is comment, you call it an engagement. If the engagement of a post is more, lifetime of the post will increase. For example, sometimes you'll be seeing old posts coming up on the wall again and again. It will be an old post like 2012 ka, 2018 ka kuch old post jo hai. Suddenly it will be coming up on the wall. You'll be like, why is it coming now? But if you observe, there will be someone who liked it recently or there is someone who has commented it on recently or there is someone who has shared it recently. So when there is an engagement, the lifetime of the post gets revived. As the lifetime of a post gets revived, that page will get benefit. The page which is having that post will get a benefit. So to have more engagement, your post must follow some guidelines. Have proper text. Again, when you talk about text, keep it crisp. Social media is all about shorter discussions. Keep it short, simple, straightforward, crisp. Don't write essays and essays. People are not ready to read here. So write proper information what you want to put up. Because this is a business page, most of the times, what will you be posting about? 
about your business information, about your services, about your extra offers, any deals and discounts, or any quality specialities, or how you are better than your competitors. Something about your company you will be posting. So write a content about it. Use trending hashtags. Use trending hashtags. There won't be any spaces in hashtags. Use the hashtags correctly. And then add your website. Wherever there is a scope of adding your website URL, don't miss it. As I told you, this will become a backlink for you. It is going to bring the link juice to your website. So add your website URL. It is a part of off-page optimization, actually. So you're writing content. You're adding hashtags. You are adding your website URL. And then connect with any image or a video so that engagement improves. People should be getting attention. You should get the attention. You should grab the attention of the users. If it is just a content, people might not even open it. If it is an image or a video, there is a scope that you get more engagement. So follow these guidelines of posting. In next class, we are going to talk about Meta Business Suit. Meta Business Suit is a Facebook tool. Now, even Facebook is named Meta, if you know it. So it has been named Meta, but still in the market, we call it Facebook only. So Meta Business Suit is a tool used by Facebook, which is free of cost, which is used to design the post and post it at the same time to multiple platforms like your Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, etc. at a time. So how to use this Meta Business Suit and all, we will discuss in tomorrow's class. If you have any questions still what we discussed it today, you can ask me. Online people, am I clear? Do you have any questions? Ma'am, uh, how to remove the users? Remove the user. This is something really new that, that someone has asked me. If I have a user, I would have shown you. You will get that option also, Ma. Like, one second. No, I don't remember my Facebook password. Huh, all right. I can show it here itself. I'm the user here, Ma. Can you see here? Saraswati, is that you who asked me this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All the users that are available, they'll be shown here. These are existing page rows, right? edit and because i don't have any second one i mean there is only one user so i can't remove them if i have two users i can remove one because there is one admin on the page are you getting my point yes ma'am so you can select that particular user and you will have a remove option here which will be active if i have two users at least if it is a single user i will not be allowed to remove that admin because i am the same person and moreover if there is one admin the page is accessible. If there is no admin, the page goes without any access. So you need to have a second person. Now, if I want to add to any other user, I need to remember my Facebook password, which I don't remember, so that I can show you. Okay, this is where you will get it, Ma, the remove option. Uh, oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Any other questions, guys? What I suggest you is, anyways, you have created your websites. With that name, create a business page. Just for practice. We are not going to post anything on that. Just to observe how to create a page, how to take the categories, how to write the about, how to write the impression part. Just to see all the options, to explore all the options, create one page. With your business names only, with your website names only, so that it will be a practice for you and you will get access to Meta Business Suit. 
If you have business page, then you can open Meta Business Suite. So why don't you create a page, everyone? That is my suggestion. Not mandatory, but try to do it if you want to practice it practically. All right, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. So with that, we come to the end of today's topic, the introduction. The next concept will be Meta Business Suite, which we will discuss in next class. As I told you, we don't have a class tomorrow because I don't want to take online class. Let us meet up on Monday again and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Four days will be for Facebook and Instagram and Friday will be Google Analytics and we'll be closing this week. Okay, guys. See you on Monday then. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye, people. Bye, madam. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Ma